because it really has got everybody's attention. I think today is a huge deal because I think for the very first time we're going to see the face of the real Richard III and you know without the two dimensional sort of caricature promoted by the Tudors on him because um, we know a lot of his portraiture was sort of um, let's say it was just um, added to um, so it's Richard without the slanty eyes and it's Richard without the mean mouth um, and I think, yeah, it's going to be very exciting to reveal him to the world. But a, a monster, effectively, for the first time. Yes, absolutely. It's just that. We're seeing him a three-dimensional person, really. Um, I think the big thing for me was I really felt I could just have a conversation with him, which uh, was an incredible feeling. Having all of us grown up and generations and generations before us seeing one image, how surprised were you to see what Richard really looked like? Oh, <laughs> Do you know, to be honest, I was absolutely blown away because I kind of expected the mealy mouth and the slanty eyes and, and all of that, and it was just not. It's a handsome face and it's um, an open face and it's a face that you, you just can't say looks like a child killer and tyrant. It's just, it just doesn't fit. Really, we, I mean, whether you're a historian or, or someone who works in the literary world, we're really having to reassess the, the opinion of Richard III, aren't we, with this? Yes, absolutely. Um, I think it's going to be um, a process, but we're starting it now because we know he wasn't a hunchback. We know he didn't have a withered arm. We know he wasn't dug up and thrown into the river saw. And I think now with the facial reconstruction, we can say this is the real man. You know, look on his face and um, make your own mind up. And obviously, you know, now we've got Rich the Third trending on Twitter. We've got people joining Facebook pages. It's on the front page of newspapers and the leading story on, on news channels. Uh, Richard the Third really is cool. Yeah, I know. Do you know what? I'm so pleased. I'm absolutely thrilled that that's happened. Never, I think, in my wildest dreams did I think people would be interested, that interested, in a medieval king. Um, so if we can get you know, the information that we have about the real Richard, some of the facts out there. I think it's a kind of thing of, of getting the information out and then letting the people make up their own mind. And what I can see of Richard from the historical record and from the documents, I think Richard would be happy with that. You know, he doesn't need to be a saint, he doesn't need to be a paragon of virtue. He just needs to be the medieval man and medieval king. And. Uh, do you know what? I think then he'll be able to rest in peace. Fantastic.